So I don't typically make how-to videos, however, I just got a Nespresso machine from a friend. She lent it to me and she had it, uh, she had had it in storage for a long time, so she hadn't been using it. And I got it and it wasn't working and I looked at so many different YouTube videos of like how to fix the water pressure. There's like an air lock or something that happens when you don't use Nespresso machines for a long time. Apparently that's a normal thing. So I went on the website, looked at tons of YouTube videos, different things about like blowing pressure into the machine, sticking a plastic bag in there to create pressure, undoing the bottom of the machine and doing all kinds of stuff I can't do. Um, it's like more technical. So I got on the, the uh, phone with Nespresso, spent forever with a pretty not helpful customer service representative who was probably just reading through a manual. Finally got on the phone with uh, probably a supervisor or something. And it was so quick and easy and it made me so annoyed that I spent days trying to figure this thing out. Um, and the girl, almost, the original customer service girl, almost was just trying to like give me a discount and offer on a new machine. Um, so anyway, I wanna share how to fix it because it did not have to be that difficult. So this is a machine, it's a Nespresso Satiz. Um, I don't know what other model, but it looks like this. Um, and basically I was pressing the buttons and no water was coming out. Um, so tried all kinds of lifting the lever, turning the machine off, on, letting it sit. Basically all I had to do was fill up this canister in the bottom with super hot water, like as hot as I could get it from the tap, didn't have to boil it or anything, up to like halfway or all the way. And then she just had me run it through the cycle multiple times. But as I was running it through the cycle, she was having me lift up and put back on the container. So up and down, up and down that water container, moving it because there's a little thing at the bottom, so it kind of helps force the water through. So up and down a bunch of times as the the buzzing and the whirring was happen, happening, but no water was coming out. So she just said, we'll do that about five to 10 times until water comes out, because that will force it out. So what you do is press this button, the bigger one, and then as it's running, kind of need two hands. So you just take this on and off and keep going on and off and on and off and on and off until this thing stops running. And then as soon as it stopped running, you just press it again and continue to lift on and off and on and off and on and off. When it stops, press the button on and off, on and off, on and off. So that took probably six cycles to get some water to start trickling in. And this I had tried it like multiple times before, just doing it once or twice and hitting the machine and all kinds of stuff that I saw from other people. Um, so basically just did that like six, seven times. Then it started to have the water come out on maybe like the eighth. Then it was like the full, almost four cups of water that's supposed to come out. So if your Nespresso machine is not working, try that. Just try running the cycle and lifting the water container on and off, and that should create enough pressure to eventually get the water to come out. Now it's working perfectly fine. Hope that helps.